Wuthering Wuthering waves So this is something that I want to talk a little bit about Wuthering waves, alright? I've been thinking about it a little bit I made some research, I've talked about it a little bit So, Wuthering waves is coming out next month Everybody here loves Wuthering waves Everybody here is going to play Wuthering waves, right? But we need to talk about how to play Wuthering waves on day one Because as a reroll expert, as a reroll god, we need to think about the plan moving forward. So there's this post on Wuthering Wave Reddit. It says, "All right, let, let's read it properly. Beginner banner, last pull should let us choose five star normal banner character. So Wuthering Waves, just like every other gacha game, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin, there's this thing called beginner banner." So what is the problem with the beginner banner? Now the problem with the beginner banner is to reach the first 5 star, you need to do 50 pulls. 50 pulls, okay? So, now what's the problem then? What's the problem with 50 pulls? 50 pulls is difficult to reroll. You gotta get all 50 pulls and then you gotta reroll, alright? So this is hard. As a reroll expert, I know it's hard. Because 50 pulls, you want to gather that, it might take time it might take hours it might take days so rerolling is going to take weeks if you're serious to get a specific character that you want <laughs> so yeah uh there are some people that suggested okay it's just my suggestion so people don't need to reroll for a character that they are very interested so it doesn't spam the email as well after rerolling for 50 pulls we get to choose a selector get to be a selector and you get to choose the characters that you like i kind of like this idea but yeah, this is the problem that I think a lot of people are going to have when you're trying to re-roll. Re-roll is not worth it. I do think it's not worth it. I do think it's going to be very annoying to want to re-roll. <clears throat> so let's have a look. Why is it not worth it? If you guys have not yet seen, uh, assuming they don't change the rates, right? Assuming everything will be the same. So let's bring this up. So to guarantee a 5 star, it seems to be 80, right? I don't know what's a soft PT. But let's look at the base chance. The base chance. The base chance drop rate is 0.8%. 0.8%. So if we reroll, if we sit there and reroll, it's going to take hours. It's going to take days. So 0.8%. Okay, so you got to play until you reach the beginner banner. So obviously you got to fight the beginner's boss. You got to do everything, right? So the overall 5-star resonator drop rate. Guarantee is 1.8%, but that's like including everything, all right? You are guaranteed to obtain one five star from every 80, but this is for the this is for the regular banner is every 80, but if you're talking about the rate up character, then it's going to be 50, the beginner banner. Uh, is it this one? No, this is for weapon. So they do have weapon as well, keep in mind, right? Yeah, this is the beginner banner. Uh, I believe this one is going to be a bit different so you want to try to roll for that better than knights of vela soft pity is 65 okay that's pretty cool i think 65 seems good enough so here's the problem right like people have been saying while we're staring at the solar eclipse that's uh nothing is happening so far now how long does it take to reroll so let's look at analysis for those players that try hardcore to reroll during the closed beta test so let's have a look at some of the Reddit posts. How easy or quick it is to reroll. I generally do not reroll in any gacha games. But my god, if I don't get one of the husbandos, cry. Okay. So basically, one person wrote, it took him around 45 minutes to get 20 wishes. 20 wishes 45 minutes to get 20 wishes so that's not enough the beginning of the story and all to get to 50 though how long is that now i want to get to 50 right 20 is not enough 0 0.8 percent you know that's not going to happen it's not going to happen 0 0.8 percent is too low unless it's one percent that i can gamble a little bit to get to 50 assuming you pull with crystals which would not be optimal at all it would be around two hours to get to the 50 beginner banner pt so around two hours two and a half hours i'm not sure why you would though 
if you have made the pre-inscription, you'll probably get 10 pull or more just for that. So two hours reroll one time. Two hours. How many of you guys will do it? Two hours. Damn. <laughs> just give me Kung Fu, girl. Two hours, guys. So this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. So. <laughs> so we're gonna have... We're gonna have uh, to think carefully, right? Is it going to be worth it, right? Two hours to get a dude. I guess there's no choice. There's no choice. If you're gonna get a dude, you get a dude, right? Your reroll stream will be five days. Yeah, five days rerolling. People already finished the entire story. They already finished everything. Waiting for the next banner. Go back to Genshin. I'm still rerolling. I'm still there rerolling. If I spend two hours and get a dude, I'll quit. <laughs> You're making it less likely we'll play. Yeah. I do think that it's not worth it to reroll. That's that's the sentiment that I have for now. Maybe with the pre-registration reward. Okay, let's have a look again. How much they are giving out in the pre-registration? So this is what they are giving out. 80,000 credits, advanced resonance potion, Astrite 200. Can we even get this, guys? Can we even get... What if we don't even get 20 pulls? <laughs> Imagine we can't even react to 30 million gold. We can't even get the 20 pulls. Damn. Maybe I'll reroll one time. I don't know, man. I really don't want to do it. What if we What if we got like... What if the pre-registration is 28 million? We didn't get to 30 million. No 20 pulls for you. That would suck. That would suck. Huh. I was in shock, what? Dead game? Yo, chill man, chill. So yeah, it's going to be something that we'll have to collectively wait and see. But in case you guys are wondering, that is um the currency needed to pull in the beginner banner, I believe. This one is the red one, so it's not this one. It's the blue one. You know, this one, this one is the yellow one. I'm guessing this one is the permanent character, right? So there's no picture right here. Uh, one is weapon banner. One is permanent character banner. Stones. One is the character rate up banner. The 30 million pre-registration is kind of ambitious. I should have, should have put in 15 million law. Uh, I feel like... I don't know. Maybe last day they were pushed with ads and stuff. We'll see how it goes. But for now, uh, the sentiment seems to be not worth it to reroll. How many of the 20 pulls were limited pulls? It will be 1 to 2 hours if you skip the story. I'm also going to try to reroll to get Kalkairo. Kalkairo is this guy right here. Kalkairo. Everybody has been trying to get Kalkairo. And apparently people like him. He's one of the best ones. Okay, let's see. You cannot skip the main story. They will have it when the game full re releases. I'm probably not going to reroll, but I sure as well hope I will get Kung Fu Girl. It's probably going to take 20 to 30 minutes or so per run. No, I don't think it's 20 to 30 minutes. I think it's more like 1 hour plus. I finished reroll in Astra. I need Water Race to come out for new reroll goals. Oh, congrats, congrats. Uh, let's see. I found one more post about rerolling. This game does not do need... I know this game do not need strong characters, but skills... I want to collect all characters. So are you going to reroll or not? Depending on how long it is. I already did for Honkai Star Rail. It was not worth it. Yeah. Honkai Star Rail is not worth it. 45 minutes per reroll. A bit too long. I hope they are skippable as well. Actually, if they can skip all the cutscenes, I might consider it. Actually. I might consider it. Huh. Rerolling for Bronya in Honkai Star Rail was arguably extremely worth it for free to play. I'm still 150 pulls away from the guarantee and it's almost 2.0. This was two months ago, by the way. I rerolled in Honkai Star Rail for 15 times and I never saw Bronya. I got so tired I settled for Clara. I mainly started rerolling because I wanted to avoid Yan Qing, which I got on my first 3 account. Now a few months later, I have E6 Yanqing. 
since I lost almost all my 50-50 to Yan Qing. F rerolling. Holy. So he rerolled non-stop. He rerolled 15 times plus just to avoid Yan Qing. And then he played the game just to get just to lose 50-50 to Yan Qing. He's trying to reroll to avoid Yan Qing. But you can never avoid Yan Qing because he's in the standard banner. Every 50-50 he lost to Yan Qing and now he has E6 Yan Qing. The character that he has been trying to avoid by rerolling. Life is rough. Is Yan Qing good? No. Yan Qing is the worst character in the game, sad. It is what it is. It's meant for him? Yeah, it's meant for him, right? I've rerolled before and wasted days of my life. Not worth it anymore. I think I'll just be happy to play the game. There's like two characters I'm not excited for, and they are both four stars. There's zero point when I know I'm going to play this game for long. I know I'll get the money pass system. Having a strong unit from the get-go doesn't really give me the benefit over others. This game isn't a PvP gacha. True? True? So yeah, that seems to be a sentiment. No reroll. No reroll. In Wootering.